My acting has changed 100%. I'm so so much more confident. I make clear choices. Okay, see what you're doing right now? That's what I need to see more of. With Margie's technique before, I would have been like, uh, can I have a couple minutes here? And now I go, okay. And I just go for it. Halle Berry was my client who is quite gorgeous. Margie has put the F back in my business, which is fun. Have you ever been on General Hospital? So what Marjorie Haber has taught me uh, through her technique is um, uh, be able to take material and uh, trust that the important thing is not the words, uh, but the important thing is the element of truth and emotion. Speed and action. When I ran back to the foxhole, My buddies were dead. All of them. Cut. What I teach can be good for, it's great for auditioning, it's great for theater, it's great for shooting the movie, it's great for all the stuff because it's the basis of the truth. I will give you what we call sides, which is a scene, and I'll give you maybe 20 minutes to look it over. So you spend 20 minutes to a half an hour out here and you come in one at a time. I tape you and then after you finish, I break it down and then you get a chance to see it. And you go, oh my God, I had no idea that I was like that. Or, or I thought I was so big and you, you hardly see me at all. Very nice. You have a good opening beat. You're coming from someplace. You're listening. You're responding to what they're saying. That's causing a reaction. Simple. It's, it's called life. But we're so afraid to do that because we don't think we're enough. Her reputation, whenever someone looks at my resume or asks me who I'm studying with in LA, they all know her. They all recommend her. I'm a surgeon. I can come in and dissect you. And because the classes are small, there are only 12 people in a class, and they last for five to six hours at a time, you know, as I'm dissecting you, you learn so much about yourself and, and it's an individualized situation. We beings have a short span of time that we are given the honor to be alive. It's so frightening, at least it is for me, to think that there's an end. And I think when you're faced with that, which is what both of these people are faced with, they're faced with their own mortality. And what's scary is, if it's real, it get, are you getting connected right now? Um, I really don't want to say it. But it scares you? No, it's personal. All right. Dad. Well, I understand that. You know, it's okay. But you see, this is the thing, though. I did the acting for you. You sat there, you listened to it, and I gave you images. You created those images. I didn't tell you what images to think about. Do you see what I'm saying to you? You didn't work hard. Did you want to cry? No. Do you want to feel this emotion? No. no. But you had no choice. No. Because I painted it for you. So being that you're a human being that is afraid, which is what we all are, afraid of loss, which is the people we love, afraid of our own loss, you did the acting. I didn't do the acting. I was just painting the picture. Most people, unfortunately, go to schools that teach them to act. I teach them to be that acting is believing. And if you are gonna be an actor, you have to stop acting. You have to live the life of the person. They will sit there and cry in my class. It's, it's, and I say to them all the time, don't go crazy with this whole thing called acting. Commit to it fully, but have another life. Find other things in life, you know, find 